Alright, uh, if you missed one of the previous videos, I talked about at some point I may be adjusting, fixing, correcting certain mistakes. This is kind of one of those videos and it involves an outlet I'll be placing here. Now the outlet initially was down in this section here. Dedicated outlet for my charging station. However, I have determined that I need to put a wall here uh, only because the way I had designed my uh, shelf at the top kind of kept hitting it in my head just the way I was walking the your normal walk routine uh, so I decided that if I'm going to do the work of putting the wall here and instead of really doing the outlet down here I'm going to shorten this up feed it through and put the outlet over here so that's what I'm working on right now uh, what I did is I pre-drilled with a butterfly bit to start this uh, I used my Ryobi jigsaw to cut the shape out here. And lastly, what I did, if I can find it, is I used, because I have, you can see, I've got two inch insulation in here. And I just used this uh, knife to go through because the blade of the jigsaw was not deep enough. So that should, at this point, just pop out like this. Now, what I will have to do to get this to fit, as you can see, the top, of course, doesn't go exactly across. Uh, there is a little lip here and this. I'll have to compensate for those on the appropriate corners. And then I will have to take out some of the pink insulation above and below because how this is designed to work is this flips up. You tighten the screw, it pulls it in against this and holds this in place. I'm going to work on that and I will uh, show you um, a little bit more of the video shortly as I get this uh, uh, ready to go. Alright, so I'm going to do a little update for you on uh, this situation here. Now, on this one here, I also have these that I can utilize to hold this in place. Uh, when I did this one, I had to do a lot of trimming out on the inside of the insulation to get these little flips to go up and through. It was a, a lot of work. So uh, I did a much better precision cut on this, which allows me to use this one and this one to hold this in place. It fits really snug for the insulation as well. So that's definitely not going to go anywhere. I will still keep these in my electrical box in case in the future I do need to make some change. I will have these uh, on hand. So let me go back, uh, finish this, get rewired and uh, covered back up. So let's wrap up this video. Uh, this is uh, on its dedicated uh, outlet. It's now moved from here, from where it was uh, down here. Another thing this does is it cleans up this wiring a bit more. All right, so what I ended up doing is, um, you know, I cleaned up the wiring over here. I used this garden hose to help protect the wire. It goes in back and feeds into this right here. Uh, this is on its own circuit. At the time I said this set up, I had uh, one breaker left over and I decided to put it to one outlet initially because this was going to be part of a charging station and I wanted that on its own uh, circuit. But it works out good because if I decide to put my a regular refrigerator over here, this gives me options I now have a dedicated circuit. Now granted it's only 15 amps, I went with 20 amp a lot of others. I only had 15 amp fuses left. I didn't want to buy any, which is going to be more than sufficient for a small refrigerator. Uh, so I hope you found this video entertaining, uh, maybe even educational. Again, when you do know electrical work, always check with an expert. I am not a professional. I am doing this for fun. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Hit the bell icon. That way, as each video is posted, you'll get a notification. And if I have forgotten to mention anything in the video itself, I put it in the I will put it in the description area below. Thank you.